So is it right to assume uh, Vasu these three arms that we are talking about? In a way, it, uh, it actually simplifies and brings more clarity to the path that an enterprise or a consumer of AI is going to take. Because today, it's also, I'm honored to ask you this question. Uh, many people tend to think that AI is completely commoditized. It is just a plug and play thing that is available. Is there a truth in it or is it a myth? To answer your first question, like you said, uh, it's a journey. Activation AI is a journey for organizations to slowly become a mature AI organization. Uh, they start somewhere today and then slowly build on it and go. Imagine the days of digital transformation. We are still talking about 70% of projects failing uh, while they take digital transformation. The data is available out there on the public right? right? Same is the case uh, that's going to happen with AI. In the two years, one year from now, reports are going to basically say, oh, we spent millions of dollars in trying to get to AI, but it uh, never uh, you know, really helped us. And so AI is a failure. The fact is that AI is not a failure. The journey was not built with that or built with that. Okay. Right? So that's where the activation AI comes in. How do you plan your journey? But we are we, we cannot assure you overnight returns. If you are that's the case with digital transformation. When you do a mobile app, doesn't mean that you are digital transformation ready. It's just one part of the whole digital transformation effort. Right? You have to connect the dots and the dots, you know, like Jobs said, they can be only looked upon in retrospect. Not by looking forward. You cannot say, you know, I will do A, 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 I'll get there. No. You have to have a careful path to getting there. And then two years from there, you'll see, oh, okay, I started here, I got there. But that planning and preparation is critical and that journey is critical to implement. The second part of your question, um, yeah, very uh, A is very democratized. That's why I said, you know, today, you know, you can go to chat GPT, you can create whatever you want. But that is not going to help an organization uh, Holistically, right? Every department won't be able to leverage the public domain chat For instance, uh, Jana, who's sitting here, um, has created, uh, you know, um, a chat GPT kind of a model for one of the clients that we work with uh, in the healthcare space, where they have hundred thousand templates in their world, which needs to be trained for AI to work. So, what Jana and team have been doing for the last eighteen to twenty months has been a stupendous and significant effort in terms of uh, consuming these uh, templates in the customer's world and making sure that A is able to produce the right kind of outcomes and offer the right kind of return on investment as a result of this learning and training and everything. But thanks to the customer also who have spent 20 months with us in order to get that kind of a return. If the customer would have said either it's two months or we don't want to see it, I think you would have happily walked away because a doesn't work like that.